For some of the miscellaneous parts, we've got a uh, fuel filter, uh, three engine mounts. I probably wouldn't use those. If you're putting a new putting a motor back in a boat, I would get new engine mounts or rebuild those. There's a cover that goes on the engine. Just want you to see this not rusted through or anything. Here is the starter motor. Looks to be in good shape. That is a, a piece that fits between the transmission and the motor. There is the oil pan. It's not rusted through. Very solid, hefty piece of metal. Even if it was rusting heavily, it would take a long time for that thing to rust through. Here is the front of the engine. Uh, I guess you call it the timing chain, well, it's not chain, timing uh, gear cover. Here is the uh, engine control panel. See if it's got any is it power meter on it. Uh, there's a jack, temperature, ignition switch. And there's the alternator, or there's the air cover, and the alternator. There's the alternator. I haven't checked it, I have no idea if it works or not. No reason to think it doesn't, but here are some uh, just a miscellaneous part. We got a couple of fuel filters, a few little bottle parts, uh, engine meter, looks like that's a brand new engine meter, fan belt, alternator belt. Just various gasket seals, oil filters, fuel filters, various stuff. And let's go to the, here is the transmission. Here is the instruction manual. I have uh, like the marine, it's kind of a uh, user guide here. I also have a, a workshop manual which has you know, basically complete teardown instructions. Very good, detailed manual. It's an easy motor to work on, so it's not, this is uh, not too hard to work with. Here is the transmission I'm going to show you next. It's the reverse gear mono shift. It's a serial number 44582. And we've got uh, breakdown pieces on that. Probably pretty simple. I have not looked into it. And I've got a complete parts catalog for the MD6A and MD6B and several other Volvo motors as well. And then uh, uh, another service manual. I haven't really looked at this one. It's kind of just another user legate manual. It's not nearly as good as that shop manual earlier. And a workshop manual on diesel engines. Okay, let's see. Here is the, the transmission. So got the prop shaft on it, and because these are um, rusted pretty hard, and I wasn't able to break them loose. Uh, I haven't tried since I got it out, but it's uh, cleaned up fairly well. Looks to me like it's still serviceable. There's where the, that rubber piece uh, showed you earlier would engage and tie in with the, tran the motor. Well, looks to be in pretty good shape. That's where the shift linkage ties in. I don't know much about this this device. Unlike the motor, which I've taken taken apart and reviewed the manual pretty thoroughly, I've not studied much on that. Here's just a few more pieces. We've got uh, an exhaust lifter here. Uh, there's some cabling for the shifter. Uh, the flywheel, big heavy thing, must be 50 pounds or something. It feels like it's probably 20 or 30, but it's heavy. The total weight of the motor, I believe, is about 340, 370 pounds. With it being in pieces, it makes it uh, somewhat uh, uh, makes it possible to move around fairly easily. When it's all together, it's really a, a bear to to deal with. Okay, back to the motor tranny. 
various covers and parts, manuals. Came out of a Southern Cross 28 Volvo MD6B. Most of the parts I believe would be interchangeable with an MD6A. In fact, I don't remember that there was hardly anything that was uh, different between the two. One other quick thing here is the, the fuel primer pump. It all feels like it works. The fuel filter slots on the motor. Here, one thing I wanted to mention was this is one of the uh, fuel lines and uh, it connects, uh, has these little screws here that have the uh, these little screws that have the holes in them that uh, supply fuel to the injectors and I know for a fact that I am missing one of those screws so you need to get one of those I know from Torrance and Marine they're not expensive at all, it's like, I don't remember, like three bucks or something so for a Marine piece that's not too bad and uh, I believe with that uh, and some rings you'd have this motor in good shape.